In the name of Almighty One God, who is most merciful and beneficent. Dear friends, my name is Dr. Ahmad Rami Abu Abdullah and I am a researcher in Quran, Bible and other religious scriptures. This is the second lecture of Contribution of Muslims in Agriculture. The short period of the Caliph Rashida is considered the golden epoch of Islamic rule in which Muslims made all wrong progress. During the Umid Khilafat, many evils of aristocracy and autocracy had crept into its ranks. The socialist and people's democracy of the Caliph Rashida had given place to imperialism and autocracy. The original tenets were dislodged from their privileged classes. The original tenants were dislodged from their lands and their properties were distributed among the privileged classes. The state revenue, in spite of all the repressive measures adopted, decreased considerably. Hazrat Umar bin Abdul Aziz tried to check this rot and reintroduced the old reforms and returned the properties to their rightful owners. He ordered his collectors not to charge any revenue for uncultivated and pasture lands. He constructed a large number of irrigation wells and tanks in his vast empire and the tenants again became rich and there was hardly anyone to receive the alums. The period of The period of Abbasid Caliph is particularly noted for the Muslim advancement in diverse branches of sciences and arts. Agriculture too received great impetus under the Abbasid. A network of canals existed in Iraq, Iraq which transformed that country into a veritable garden. The first great canal constructed by an uncle of Caliph Mansur was called Isa Canal, Naral Isa, which issuing from the Euphorus at Al Nabar, Al Ambar, at Al Ambar, ran into the Tigris west of Baghdad. It was open to ships, and one of its branches was the Sara Canal. Another important canal was built by Caliph Mehdi in Wasit district which brought a large tract of land under cultivation. A third transverse canal was Nere Sarsar, which joined the river Tigris and Madian. The Dujavil Canal, another name of canal, the Dujavil Canal, which connected the Tigris and other area had many offshoots irrigating the regimes, regions north of Baghdad. It was silted up in the 10th century AD after AD. A canal known as Nair al Malik entered the Tigris below Madian. Other important canals were Nair Kutaba and Great Sara, which flowing in the lower basin of the two rivers, had many branches and irrigated a vast tract of land. Promotion of agriculture and horticulture was carried out with zeal throughout the vast Abbasid Empire. In those days, Iraq and southern Persia presented the appearance of a veritable garden and the whole country, especially between Baghdad and Kaya was covered with prosperous town, flourishing villages and fine villas. The staple crops of 
इराक पर बार्ले राइस व्हीट डेट्स कॉटन सेसेमे एंड फ्लक्स द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ द फ्रूट वाज परसूड एज ए साइंस एंड सेपरल न्यू फ्रूट्स वर इंट्रोड्यूस्ड इन वेरिंग क्लाइमेट्स द प्लेन साउथ ऑफ सवाद वाज नोटेड फॉर द ग्रोथ ऑफ ऑल सॉर्ट्स ऑफ टेम्परेट एंड ट्रॉपिकल फ्रूट्स आवाज एंड पार्स वर फेमस फॉर शुगर प्लांटेशन एंड मैन्युफैक्चर द शुगर मैन्युफैक्चर इन दीज रीजन वॉज सप्लाइड नॉट ओनली टू एशियाटिक कंट्रीज बट ऑल्सो टू यूरोप शुगर वॉज ऑल्सो मैन्युफैक्चर ऑन द सीरियन कॉस्ट फ्रॉम वेंस द क्रूसेडर्स लर्न द मैथड एंड इंट्रोड्यूस्ड इट इन टू यूरोप Khurasan and Egypt were also fertile countries yielding rich agricultural products according to the Arab geographer Yaqub the land in the vicinity of Bukhara during Samanid rule 900 AD looked like a garden it contained the valleys of Sogad considered as one of the four earthly paradise all kinds of fruits were produced in these gardens watermelons were exported from khwarazm to baghdad in lead molds pressed with the ice and were sold for 700 dirhams each in spain Arabs had established a great civilization and had developed agriculture on an unprecedented scale. They had constructed water channels, applied scientific manners, and introduced new crops. The whole of Spain, especially Andalusia, had been converted into a veritable garden. Hardly any country of medieval times enjoyed greater agriculture prosperity than Muslim Spain. Agriculture was carried on along the scientific lines and combining industry, skill and knowledge in its development made the most sterile tracts bloom luxuriantly. It was Spanish Arabs who introduced rice, sugarcane, cotton, ginger, saffron, spinach spinach and a great variety of fruits to their pensilvania and developed them on a large scale from spain these crops were later gradually introduced into various countries of europe in 1255 ac when ferdinand one captured seville that province possesses several million olive trees and had made and had more than 10000 mills for turning out olive oil a renowned historian writes about the achievements of the arabs in spain they leveled the earth by means of an instrument called the marifal and the science of irrigation was carried to high perfection the whole country was covered with the aqueducts and canals for the fertilization of the soil the adic the aqueducts of carmona carried waste over a distance of several leagues so my dear friends we in this lecture try to explain the contribution of muslim in agriculture in all muslim countries in medieval time especially baghdad egypt uh, spain and likewise so please keep on watching my channel dr abu abdullah